Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations. This reading is for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus between now and the middle of May 2019. So this will cover the Libra full moon that we will have. This is big energy for Libra because you're probably closing out some chapters of your life that started five, six years ago. And the energy is that real. It's over. Whatever you've been fighting for or against, the fight is over. It will be taken out of your hands. You don't have a choice anymore. If you haven't chosen, it will be chosen for you. So this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus, the karmic energy and background. We're going to pull two cards. Let's go ahead and take this one. It is um, Pleonexia. This is someone who is counting all of their... They're counting all of their wealth. They're probably stingy, not very generous. Um, and for, for Libra, I feel like this is someone who's held on to all their ideals, all their beliefs around their life about what they believe success is, um, about what they believe beauty is, um, about what they believe they have a right to. Uh, this can also be something about emotions, even though they are coins here. Uh, but this is Taurus Virgo energy. This is Venus Mercury energy, by the way. And uh, this is someone who wants to keep things in order, you know. Um, they don't want people to really go or think outside the box. So I think the Libra might be challenged a little bit with this energy that maybe they're going to be forced to change their ideals around things or around people, people being inconsistent uh, with or to them. So again, this is for Libra, another karma card. What do we have? We're going to go ahead and take that. That is Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, with this lineup here, it could be something too about Libra maybe having the possibility to make new living, make a new way of life. But it doesn't seem to me right now that they are particularly wanting to change their life or location. Some Libras might be forced to move to a different or new location that they had not anticipated. So this can be a surprise. Um, I feel like the more the, they, the more they think about it, the possibility of moving, even though they hadn't planned it, the more they're going to warm up to it. So let's see what happened in the past that's affecting the situation now for Libra. Let's go ahead and take this one. We have Major Arcana and the Devil, and I'm going to put another one back to back before I read on that. We have the Two of Wands. So for Libra, what happened in the past? I feel like you fought for you fought for your rights. <laughs> no, it is kind of like that. You fought for you. You fought for what you wanted. You fought for an ideal about something. It could be the ideal job, the ideal location, the ideal lover, the ideal husband, the ideal wife, the ideal way of life, even the ideal way of dressing. Um, but I think the origin of where your values or your core interests came from were maybe from the lower chakras, not the upper chakras. So if it was a head or heart decision, I think it was coming more from the heart uh, or more from the lower chakras. This is also with this card here, Pionexia, with Major Arcana, the devil. This feels like someone who was very much attracted to beauty or to um, money, to physical pleasure, physical delights, materialism, and... This is kind of what brought you to your place now where you are, this karmic energy of maybe recognizing that all that glitters is in gold. It can also be that, um, like, just because someone looks nice on the outside doesn't mean that they are a nice person or they were a nice person or a loving person. And this is the kind of what I feel like Libra is dealing with right now. So let's see what can help Libra. What can help them through this energy right now. We have the Six of... Oh, I'm sorry, the Six of Cups. This is about getting back to 
maybe your roots. This can be about maybe addressing some things from your childhood, uh, addressing some ideals that maybe you had that were faulty. But I feel like to me, this is something that's deeply rooted from your childhood that you cannot change. You know, I think people can change, but some things about the core of who people are, I don't feel like you can change. I don't feel like this is something any way that you can change overnight. So if you think that a person's looks are more important than their values or their personality, I don't think that this is just going to change. I think that more it's about maybe you opening your eyes to this. And it's not to say it's right or wrong, but maybe just maybe something will happen that will challenge you, that will force you to see things in a different way around those kind of issues. And money isn't everything. You know, sometimes, you know, everybody needs money. Everybody needs to survive, but it's not the most important thing in life. So what else is here for Libra to help them through this energy? We have the six of the six of wands. So we have the six of cups and the six of wands. Well, gee, I mean, this also could be someone moving forward or finalizing a relationship or a contract for something that they always wanted, even though maybe it was materialistic or very uh, superficial. Uh, it's like it does move forward. It does go. They feel good about it. Uh, they feel like it was the right thing to do. They're happy with their decision, even if others around them are doubting their motivation or intentions. Let's see what else we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising video. Sorry, guys. Somebody is trying to come back to me. I was thinking, I'm sorry. I was thinking trying to say I'm making videos. Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is Libra. What else can help Libra? We have the, we have the three of pentacles. We have the queen of, queen of wands. So there may be a conversation that has been put off by Libra for a long time that they need to have with themselves or with others. It's like something needs to be addressed, something needs to be spoken, something needs to be said out loud. Even if the Libra has thought it, they haven't actually said it, they haven't had the, the enthusiasm. I want to say the guts, not to say anyone is... You know, but it's like they haven't been able to get the words out and this has hurt them. This has hurt them. And it, and it could be that it's just something as simple as an apology or a recognition, even to themselves. Yeah, I messed up. I did something really messed up. It's like they push it down. They push it. They push it. They push it. They focus on everything else except for that so that they don't have to think about it. See, this would keep her really busy. They keep themselves busy so that they don't have to address something. But I feel like it's something, even if this isn't a person with the Queen of Wands from one of the fire elemental signs, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, this is an energy within the Libra that's calling on them to address something. It's calling on them to open up their eyes for good or for bad, even if it's shadow energy to say, yeah, I'm superficial. Yeah, I only care about how somebody looks or what their body type is. That's me. It's like something they need to own, even if it's negative. What else do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus? It's for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus. It's for Libra. We have the two of pentacles now, and if you remember, we already pulled the two of 
we already pulled the two of wands here. And we have Major Arcana the Aeon. So the Libra, it looks like to me that they're resigned to their own fate. This is someone who is resigned to their own fate. Whatever it is, wherever they're going with this person, um, who, who they've been all in for, who they've put everything on the line for, they're all in. There's no turning back. They don't feel like there's any turning back. They feel like they've already come too far to turn back and um, they're going to make it work at all costs. They're going to make it work at all costs. That's what I'm getting for Libra. That's weird because the other readings in the past have been so like they would break up and from what I remember, but this isn't feeling like this. This, this is something else going on here. You know, um, we have the Ten of Wands. So this is in at all costs. They're going to do whatever it takes to make it work with the Ten of Wands here. Whatever it takes to make it work, they're going to do. Even sacrifice their own dreams, um, sacrifice uh, relationships. Let's go ahead and take this one. This one, we have the king of water, and this could be with a water sign that they're so besotted with, or an ideal of things. This is also an ideal of things that they can be totally obsessed with, what their ideal of success is, what their ideal of good looking is, and all of this. It's like it's just not going away. And we have the high priestess, Major Arcana. So this is interesting because this reading was really starting for me, like we're dealing with the Libra energy of having to let things go associated with this full moon. But it seems to me like Libra themselves are hunkering down that whatever this is, they're going to fight for. They're going to fight against the tide. They're going to swim against the tide. They're going to, if it's a rip tide, they're going to swim against it. They're not flowing with it. And, you know, I don't know what this is going to bring for Libra. There's nothing that's coming out that's really telling me how this will go for Libra if they're really taking this route. I don't know if I need to pull more cards to see. I'll pull one more and see what the conditions of the energies are that want to tell me what will happen for Libra with all of this if they are in fact fighting against the tide of change. When, what will be the outcome? Because I feel like the Libra's in a special situation anyway since the... What is Libra doing? What? How will this be? Let's take this one and see if we read a few more. I'm not reading anymore, guys. We're going to go ahead and stop there. We have Major Arcana, the Hangman, because whatever you do is up to you. And essentially, I'm not supposed to know in this reading where this is going to lead you. Is your decision how you're going to fight against the tide of change? Um, or fight for this situation that you know ought to change. I think deep down inside, you know, with this high priestess here, Major Arcana, you already know where this is going to go. You already know how this is going to end, and you're willing to go along for the ride because this person is pressing all the buttons or the job is pressing all the right buttons right now to make you feel good about yourself and who you are you know, and about your future, even though you may know that in the end, this is a complete wrong situation or condition or person. It's like you're going to fight for it. So we have to see maybe next month we'll have more information, but that's all I have for Libra right now. Hey, I hope you did like the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot for joining. Bye-bye.